हेलो एवरी वन आई एम सलोनी एंड वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल कोडेरा सो इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल गेट टू नो हाउ यू कैन प्रिपेयर फॉर द कॉन्ग्निजन ऑनलाइन रिटर्न टेस्ट सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी द टेस्ट पेटर्न सिलेबस एंड द क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू द सिलेबस टॉपिक सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द वीडियो सो गाइज इन कॉन्ग्निजन सिलेक्शन प्रोसेस देर आर थ्री स्टेजेस फर्स्ट इज ऑनलाइन रिटर्न टेस्ट सेकेंड इज टेक्निकल राउंड एंड द लास्ट वन इज द एच आर राउंड Now let's talk about the first round which is online written test. So guys this is the test pattern for the online written test. So there you will find three sections which is quantitative ability, logical ability and English comprehension. So in quantitative ability you have to solve 25 questions in 35 minutes. In logical ability there will be 35 questions that you have to solve in 45 minutes. and the last one is english comprehension where you will find 20 question that you have to solve in 20 minutes so there will be total 80 question that you have to solve in 100 minutes and one more important point that this online written test will be conducted through the superset platform so first we will see the important topic which you should cover in quantitative aptitude so the topics are divisibility hcf and lcm numbers and decimal fraction time speed and distance profit and loss simple and compounding interest permutation and combinations and the last one is the probability so some important topic from the logical reasoning are analogy pattern recognition number series coding deductive logic data sufficiency blood relation directional sense logical word sequence puzzles and the data arrangement Now next we will see the important topic from the verbal ability or English comprehension. So the topics are synonyms, antonyms, contextual vocabulary, error identification, reading comprehension, sentence improvement and the construction. Now let's see some sample question. So the first question is from the aptitude. So the question is if A and B together can complete a piece of work in 15 days and B alone in 20 days So in how many days can A alone complete the work? So as we know that A and B can complete the work in 15 days. So the part of work done by A and B in one day will be 1 by 15. And we also know that that B can complete the work alone in 20 days. So the part of work done by B in one day will be 1 by 20. So the part of work done by A in one day will be 1 by 15 minus 1 by 20. so its answer will be 1 by 60 in this way a can complete the work in 1 upon 1 by 60 which is equal to 60 days so our answer is a that is 60 days so the second question from the aptitude is how many three letter words with or without meaning can be formed out of the letters of the word logarithms if repetition of the letters is not allowed So here one important thing is that the repetition of letter is not allowed and we have to find the number of words that we can find with the word logarithms and it is not necessary that the word should have any meaning. So here we have to use the permutation formula. So the given word has total 10 different letter. So the value of n will be 10. And we have to find a three letter word so the value of r will be 3. and when we will solve this question with the permutation formula then we will get the answer equal to 720 so the right answer is 720 so our first question from the logical reasoning is one evening seema started to walk towards the sun after walking a while she turned to her right and again to her right after walking a while she again turned right so in which direction is seema facing so this is the figure of direction So let's assume this is Seema. Now according to question she started walking towards sun. So sun rises from the east but she started walking on evening. So in evening the sun will be in the west direction. So Seema started walking towards the west. Something like this. Then after walking she turned to her right. That means in the north direction. And again she turned to right. that means in the east direction and again after walking a while she turned to the right that means in the south direction 
so right now she is facing to the south direction so the answer is a which is south direction so i hope you guys understand this solution now the next question from the logical reasoning is pointing to a gentleman nearest said his only brother is the father of my daughter's father so how is the gentleman related to the neeraj so here observe this sentence which is father of my daughter's father so here the meaning of my daughter's father is neeraj itself so now the sentence will be like the father of neeraj so the father of neeraj is the brother of that gentleman so in this way the gentleman is the uncle of neeraj so the answer is d which is uncle so now our first question from the verbal ability is to find the error in the sentence and the sentence is supposing if it rains what shall we do so its right answer is a because there is no sense of using supposing and if together as both are used for assuming something so the correct answer is a which is supposing if now our next question is choose the best antonym for amused so its right answer is c that is saddened so guys that's all about today's video and if you like this video so please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe our channel thank you so much for watching